Welcome to Bad Food Blog, and today we're cooking these two things. First, we've got this unicorn cake mix. Hopefully, it involves real parts of unicorns. We yeah. have unicorn. We have unicorn decorations. You mean unicorn by Doctor Ukta. You mean unicorns. We have little unicorn type. Um, well, there we go. Little unicorn type additive thingies. And I'm just going to take And them. then we've also got to go with the cake when we when we serve it up. We've got the Angel Delight dessert kit. So we're going to pop this with the cake and we're going to put the unicorn sprinkles on it. Yeah. And that's ah. what the unicorn sprinkles look like. Yummy. Yeah, the unicorn's barfing. Yeah, it does look like the unicorn pukes on your food. That's kind of funny. <laughs> oh my God. Unicorn barf. Yeah. So let's start by having a look at what we need to do for this cake. So, no, no, leave that. Leave. Leave. Okay, so first of all, we need to preheat the oven to 180 degrees centigrade. At least that bit's nice and easy and doesn't involve any potential errors. In a jug, blend eggs, milk, and oil. How do you blend eggs? Place cake mix in a bowl. Do not over mix. What? Okay. These so how many eggs? Cake three cake. eggs and a hundred milliliters of oil. Okay, do you want to get the three eggs from the fridge? I got three eggs. Okay, let's get the three eggs and be back in a And we're back with the eggs. Uh, could you get me the measuring jug? So, let's get three medium eggs in here. Whoa! This is already going wrong. Measuring jug. Okay, could you get me a little bowl to put this rubbish in as well? No, don't do that. Get a bowl. For the, for the eggs, for the shells. Who put a, a, That'll do, a, just give me the bowl. Who put a big bowl on top of a small bowl? I don't know, that is a silly idea. Okay, and with the measuring jug, do you want to put 100 millilitres of oil into it? Oil? Yeah, sunflower oil. A one drop of egg yolk going. That's fine, just go and put 100 millilitres of oil in it. I did uh, tell you not to do that. Sunflower oil? Yep. Look on the side. Well, I'll do it. Let's take it over here. Look, we need 100 milliliters. This should be pretty easy to work out. I can see where the 100 milliliters level is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we've got oils in everything, so this. Well, you need 100 milliliters of oil. There we go. How do you get oil off your hands? You wash them with soap. Okay. All right, there we go. 100 milliliters of oil. And what's the next thing? Ooh, got a phone call. Now, back to that phone call dealt with. Next on the list is 145 milliliters of semi skimmed milk. Ooh. Okay. That's easy. Oh. That's what we use, it's a semi skim. I drink every day. Yeah, so let's get a hundred. That's a hundred. And that's about a hundred and forty five. Now one. There we go. Ew. See, that was easy. It looks like pancake mix. It looks like a pancake. Well, do you want to get a whisk? And get a whisk and whisk it together. Yep, there you go. I'm going to whisk it until it looks nice. Okay. Oh, it doesn't matter. So now, apparently, what we need to do next is now place Mr. Kipling unicorn cake mix in a bowl, pour the egg and milk mixture, and gently mix together. Whisk for one minute. Do not o do not over mix. Well, I'm supposed to. I'm supposed to be doing this in a separate thing, but I'm not. I'm just, and I'm not doing it as per the instructions. That's for uh, normal. Oh uh, no, we're gonna have bad unicorn cake. No, we're not. 
apparently this is going to change color. What? Yeah, so it goes in this look like flower, right? And apparently it's going to go some funny color. Oh, let me catch bright pink. Wow, you should smell this. It smells like unicorn. It smells no. like sugar. <laughs> unicorn doesn't smell like... Smell like 25. Doesn't smell like a Oh, it's changing color. Bread. Wait, what? Let me see. It's gone pink. Oh, I wish I could see, see how it changes color. It just did, right in front. It's still changing color. What? It's even more pink. So apparently, I'm only supposed to do this for a, a maximum of a minute. I'm not eating that bad. I think it's going to change colour again. Wait, we have something from our cupcake video, what we are going to use on this. No, I need yeah, to get the cake. Something. I'm going to pause this while I get the cake tin. No, We've put some paper in the bottom of the cake tin because we have this problem with the cake tin where it always messes up. Yeah, do not spill that. No, it's going in the cake because tin. Because if you spill... Whee! Wait, do I get to do I get to eat the rest of the batter? What's going to be left in Go, there? Can you get me a spatula to scoop the rest out? No. The plastic ones from the back, the silicone ones. Yeah, you can go and play with that. Purple for unicorn. Oh, no, I gotta eat this over the sink. Yep. It is dripping. It it's is like dripping unicorn. Is this like what unicorns are made out of? Pink stuff. No, that's just wrong. Really wrong. Okay. All right. There. It's in a cake tin. Okay. It is in the cake tin. Can right. I have that spatula? I'm gonna try a bit of it first. It's mm. disgusting. It's way too sweet. Too sweet. Wow. Ow, it tastes the color. It tastes like the colour it is. Honestly, if something could taste pink, that tastes pink. Okay, what's the next step? So we need to bake it for 20 to 25 minutes in the centre of the oven. Well, the oven is just about reached temperature, so it's time for this to go into the oven. Here we are going in the oven. The super pink cake is going in. There we go, the super pink cake is in the oven. We'll see it in 20 to 25 minutes. Alexa, start 20 minute timer. 20 minutes, starting now. Okay, so far we've had 25 minutes and last time we checked it, it was still wobbly wobbly. So this time, we still got a bit of wobble going on there. Let me just tap. Oh no, that's a lot firmer. We're gonna have to leave it to stand though, but it's coming out now. As you can see, it's still kind of pink, but it's gone purple. It's kind of got a hollow, it's got a hollow sound to it. It's gone brown. Yeah, it's gone brown in some parts and purple in others, but we need to leave this to stand, okay? And we'll be back when it's ready for ice. So here we are, the cake is out of the oven. It's been left to cool down long enough so it can be removed from the cake tin. And the paper we put down should have been enough so we can just gently pry it away. I don't actually, oh that actually did something, <laughs> that actually helped it work, that's crazy. Mmm, mm. well it just tastes like cake. How much is left? You can try that little bit there if you want. Mmm. Oh my god, it tastes like sponge cake. Well of course it tastes like sponge cake, it is a sponge cake. Tell me that before we do the video. Well, it was obvious it was a sponge cake. It still needs to cool down, but that's going to happen faster now outside of there. Because it's a very moist sponge cake, but it needs to cool down. And then we need to cut it, cover it in... We need to put the buttercream in it, which we have here in the fridge. Which we made for a previous cake, um, which was a salted caramel cake. Um, well, salted caramel muffin. So unfortunately it's kind of a brown colour. But, I mean... It shouldn't be 
It's been in the fridge, so I wonder how... Oh no, it's still good. Yep, salted caramel. Mmm. So we're going to put that in as a layer in the middle, cut it open, and then we're going to make some angel delight to go with it. And we're going to put some salt. We're going to put the salted caramel on top as well, and then put loads of sprinkles on it too. And it's unfortunate the colour of the uh, salted caramel cake isn't quite up to the colour of the cake, isn't it? I mean, we could just put the buttercream on top of the cake, which I think is going to be the better idea rather than trying to cut it in half. Because I don't really see cutting this one in half as going too well. I don't know, there's just something about this cake that tells me that if I cut it in half it's going to fall to pieces. It's not a very firm cake. Okay. It's still too warm to put that on though, it's going to melt, so we'll come back later. So we are back with the unicorn cake and um, we're going to be putting this lovely um, buttercream on it, which unfortunately, reasonably unfortunately, I'm going to have to put on with this I think. Yee. This might end up being a unicorn poo poo cake because it looks like unicorn poop. I think we're going to save the angel. This video is too long already, so we're going to save the unicorn angel delight dessert for another video. But we're going to put all the sprinkles and everything on this. Oh, look at this. Wow, doesn't it look great? So this stuff, this buttercream, is essentially buttery margarine with tons and tons and tons and tons of sugar added. Like the amount of sugar is un believable. But you have to wait till the cake is perfectly cold to put it on. Because otherwise, guess what? It will melt. Mmm, smells like lovely. It smells lovely. I know it looks bad, but it smells of salted caramel. So it smells absolutely amazing. <laughs> so there we are so we didn't cover it in purple like the picture suggested we've instead Covered it in brown caramel coating. Now, caramel coating's done. It's time to decorate. Aren't you coming to decorate the cake? Okay. Let's start with sprinkling this all over it. Oh look, there are unicorns on everything now. Decorate. Can I have some of the sprinkles? Yeah. Hold out your hand under, over the cake then. Here you go. There we go. So now it's covered in unicorn sprinkles. Let me zoom in just to show you how glorious this is. It's just covered in unicorn sprinkles. It's absolutely fantastic. Right, now we're covered in unicorn sprinkles. I'm going to cover it in actual unicorns. Let's put some, well there are already unicorns on there, see? Those are babies. They're not babies, they're just small unicorns. Now let's put some rainbows on it. Rainbows? Uh, I'm eating this one. You're eating that one, are you? Yeah, this. Oops, we got a broken rainbow there. Just 
tastes nice. It just tastes like sugar. Ooh. I'm gonna try the rainbow. I'm trying a piece of the rainbow as well. Mm, they do taste like sugar. There we go. So now we have unicorn rainbow cake covered in sugary stuff. Right. I think it's ready. Do you want to try a slice? Get three little plates. Oh dear. No, f yeah, those plates, yeah. Two of those and one of the plastic ones there. We're running out of plates. We've been doing so much cooking and eating today. Oh, let's make sure that's there in the shop. <laughs> there we go. Let's get a knife. Cut a slice. Whoops. Don't care if you cut a unicorn in half. I do. Why? I don't want to cut a unicorn in half. It's a unicorn. They're supposed to be cut in half. They're supposed to be eaten. There we go. There we go. I'll get a massive fork. That's what the cake looks yes. like. Look, it's a fork in the road. That's not a fork in the road. Well, I'm just going to eat it. Right, let's get another slice. Oop. And then the last slice. And I'll try the last slice. Oop. Oh, that last slice is falling to pieces. Oh. Right, I'm going to have to get myself a fork to try the last slice. Mm. Mini dessert forks. All right, let's see what it tastes like. Oh, it's still a little bit squishy in the middle there. Could have maybe done with cooking a little bit longer. Mmm. Mmm. It tastes really yummy. Mmm. Mmm. Well, unicorn cake tastes great. Mmm. Thanks for watching, please like and share the video. And if you really like what we do here, please consider subscribing. Yay!